another discussion, which is a very interesting discussion. Rebelio Ragular was a Talmud of Reb Chaim Velozhena, and he is a very important sefer, a very well-known sefer. Please can know the sefer. Shalashu is Yad Elio. And his Tzavoah is printed in the introduction of that sefer. And he writes a big Kiddush. He writes his children, Shona Rishayna, there are many Zgulas. You say Kaddish, you say Bohu, you daven for the Omid. But you should not have any Kavana that the Kaddish or davening for the Omid or the Maftir should be to the benefit of the Niftar. If you have such a Kavana, then you lost it all. And your Kaddish and your Bohu and your Maftir is worthless because then it's Shalor Lishma. So he says, the benefit that the Neshama has when children say Kaddish or Daven for the Omid or Oilem after is automatic. It has nothing to do with the Kavona of those children. And if the children have a Kavona that what they do should be for the benefit of the Niftar, then the Kaddish is worthless, the Maftar is worthless, it means nothing because then it's Shalodesh that is what Rabbi Yor Ragalo writes. And I cannot but disagree with him. And I think when the Ramo writes in Simon Sheen, I am vote. al This formulation, al ovi means we say Kaddish for our parents. And that is our intention. In many Mishnayas, I have a Mishnayis at home. In the beginning of Mishnayis, there is a tefillah that one should say before learning Mishnayis for an Iftar, and a tefillah that we say after learning Mishnayis for an Iftar. So me and my family come together every Matzah Shabbos, and we learn Mishnayis, say the Taharas. I hope we'll finish say the Taharas within Shona Rishayna. Bo Hashem, we have four Siyam Mishnayis to the Shloishim and four Siyam Ashas Babli to the first year. So, in many Mishnahis, we have a tefillah. I don't know who composed that tefillah, but there is another tefillah in Sefer Lishoyin Lemudim that was composed by the Ben Ishchai. And the Ben Ishchai actually composed a tefillah, which is a beautiful tefillah, in which we clearly ask a Kodesh Baruch to have Rachamim V'chesed and Tokas and Nishmas Ovi Ploini Ben Ploini Imi Ploinis Ben Ploini So, the Ben Ishchai wrote it Philip. So we clearly not only have in mind, but verbalize and say what we learn should be to the benefit of his Neshama. So would there be a difference between davening and learning? And would the paid of Rabbi Eliyahu Ragolar only be davening? Why would there be a difference? I don't see any difference between Kaddish or learning. This is a mitzvah. That's a mitzvah. So why would there be a difference between one and the other? Sefer Salmas Chayim, Simonai and Dalet. I don't know whether you're familiar with this Sefer. Very peculiar and interesting Sefer. Salmas Chayim was written by one of the great Talmud HaChachom in Yerushalayim a hundred years ago. His name was Rav Shloim Esobol. And it is questions he presented to Rabbi Yosef Chaim Zonnefeld. And the truth is he got from Rabbi Yosef Chaim Zonnefeld. And the Sefer is very strange to many people because the Chuvis are one-liners. Today, Gedolim have Chuvis one word, not one line. I don't have a very high regard to this form, but quotes <coughs> for us from Gedolim. Ken, Lo, Efsher, Ulai. I don't think those forums are to be those forum are to be taken very seriously. I'm not aware that the Noi debut and the Soy for the Radbaz and the Rashba gave such Chuvis. Yes, no, maybe, perhaps. I do know, I don't know. But the Beis of Chaim Zanafeld wrote one-liners, which is also strange. So the story, what I heard from Zikna Yerushalayim, of Shlomo Sovel, every day when the Beis of Chaim Zanafeld came to Shul, they dabbled in the same minion. So we wrote Shilas on little pieces of paper and tucked them under the talus of the Beis of Chaim Zanafeld. And before the Beis of Chaim left the shul and went home, he looked at those shyness and on those same pieces of paper wrote his uh, intuitive response on the spot. 
So the Shailas are one line and the Chuvas are one line. So in Simon Hayim Dalad and Salmas Chaim, he asked the Pirates of Chaim exactly this question. He asked him, when we say Kaddish for Aniftar, should we have in mind that we're saying the Kaddish for his benefit, for his Ilu Nishoma, or maybe that would be considered Shalom Nishoma? And the Pirates of Chaim doesn't quote any sources, but he writes, well, Kibidav is a mitzvah, so why would that detract from another mitzvah? You're doing it for your father, and that's a mitzvah, so why would that be a problem? That is what Rabbi Yosef Chaim responds. So Rabbi Yosef Chaim's instinctive response, which is definitely important, it's his Das Toilet, and Rabbi Yosef Chaim of Baghdad, who was the Ben Ishchai, and he wrote it filler that we are to say when we learn Mishnah's for an Iftra. And I think Mishnah's and Kaddish would be the same. And I don't really understand Rabbi Lior Rodler's argument. There's a Gomorrah Psochon Davches, and Toises in numerous sources of Shaz, of the Zorod of Yutes and other places. The Gomorrah says, everybody knows and remembers this Maima. Ho Oima, Sele Zele Tzadok, Almanash Sheyich Yibini, or O Almanash Sheyesk Alachai Yolama, Bo Arayze Tzadik Domo. So a person gives Tzadok. And he stipulates, Almanash Sheyich Yibini, Almanash Sheyesk Alachai Yolama, Bo Arayze Tzadik Domo. Rashi writes, and he is not considered a person that does a mitzvah shalom l'shema. No, he does the mitzvah l'shema, but he also wants to reap the benefit. And Rashi is interesting. But if he also wants to reap benefits, so why would it still be considered a mitzvah l'shema? And why is he at Sadi Gomer? Toysvis. Toysvis. In various different sources. And Shas, as I said, elaborates more. And Toysvis asks from the very first Pelek in Mesechet Dovo. He's Pelek Alef Mishnah Gimel. Al tiu kavodim amisham shem sarav amanaz lakavar pas. So how could a person say Almanash Yechibini? That is Almanash Yechibini. So Toysa says, the chasorim of Almanash Yechibini process only when a person is makayim a mitzvah achvarak. Only because he wants reward. And if he wouldn't get that word, reward, he would be toyala rishoynas. So that mitzvah is really shalol shema. But if a person would be makayim the mitzvah regardless, and he is machavin l'shem shemaim, then he is entitled to also plea with the Kodesh Baruch Hu, please, al manash yechem b'ni, al manash yeskal chayin lo. So many times in my shurim I apologize and I would say, if I would live 850 years ago, this is what I would say. If I would have a chance, maybe what I say would have significance and it would find its place into some shas. This is what I would say. There's a big difference. What is he asking for? So, uh, I should be rich. I should be powerful. They should fire the CEO because he's going on my nerves. A person gives tzedakah. Almanas. I should get a cruise around around the world for a reasonable price. That definitely would not be at Sadiq Goma. That definitely would not be at Sadiq Goma. But what is he asking for? Almanash Yich Yibini. is the greatest misfit in the Torah. I wrote in Minchas Osha Chumash Bamidvar. I don't remember which simon. Maybe Chav Gemel and Parshas by Loisko. That besides the general mitzvah of tefillah, there's a special mitzvah, le'ispalal ala choilim. And we learned this from Moshe Rabbeinu. When Miriam was mitzaraz, Moshe turns to a Kodesh Boch, who came, no, refo, no, lo. So it's a mitzvah to daven for choilim. It's a mitzvah to try to heal choilim. So what's wrong, what's wrong with a person asking Kodesh Boch, amenashi yichibini? What's wrong with a person asking Kodesh Baruch when the, in the merit of the tzedakah I give? Al menash yich yibini. Al menash yich yibini is something we need to do everything within our power to salvage a person's life. So why shouldn't he say sel zel tzedakah menash yich yibini? And the same al menash eskalach hayolam abo. You know, other peoples and religious have a crazy olam haba. Our olam haba 
is nothing about Gashmias. Our Olam Habe, Sadiqim, Yosh, Ben Vatrosayim, Berosayim, Venenem, and Zivashim. And that is the Tachas Abriya. So what's wrong with a person asking in Kodesh Baruch I want to be Zorich HaTachai Olam Abo, I want to be Zorich HaTachai Olam Abo, I want to be I am in the prostor only because ultimately I want to make it into the Trakland and I want to be close to a Kodesh Baruch Hu and Enem as Yiv So it all depends what type of a pras you expect. And when Chazal say, Al Tiyik Avodim HaMisham Shem Salav HaManas Lakav HaPras, that is a pras of money and power and influence and, and Tivis and yes. That is not, the, not something you should ask in reward for your avoidus of kail. But when a person asks those are the greatest aspirations and the most positive bakoshas that a person could ask from a Kodesh Bauchu. So that definitely would not diminish his mitzvah. And I say the same when a person says, Kaddish le'ilu nishmas odami yisrael. If it's a father and it's a mother, it's a mitzvah of kibbedav. Even if it's not a father and a mother. It's a chesed. It's a chesed we do with machayim, the imameisim. So that does not in any way re- detract or diminish the schos of a kaddish, or learning mishnayis, or davening for the omed, or any other mitzvah below kedivrei yad eliyahu. So the Adel Yoh was a Godel Shavik Doilem going back almost 200 years. And I have a feeling the Adel Yoh is inspired by the Chaim Valozhanam. And the Chaim Valozhanam naturally is inspired by the Gro. So in Shah Alaf and Nefesh Chaim, there's a very interesting Pedic. And the Nefesh Chaim writes that all the Kavonas we have in Tfilas Amid and Shemur Nesra should only be Kvayt Shemayim and nothing for yourself. Nothing for yourself. It is all about Kvayt Shemayim. And he does write that the Gemara says that a person could be Moisev Bekoshes Me'en Abrocha. But that is not for Yishorim Bili Boisam. And to me this was always a Pele. So it's a Sif and Shulchan Aruch. And a din in the Gemara that you could be moisev bebrochas and soyis. Is that a bit yevet? Is that only for the simpletons? What the Gemara and the Shechanor don't talk to tzaddikim. Shnois elio in brochas perike when the Gemara says chasidim rishoyin and shuachas lifnei tfilos and shuach lachtos and kedei sheichav no libam neshamayim shnois elio the Gemara says. Shechav no libra shemayim means everything should be kavod shemayim, and no person of bakoshes only in elokai nitzoyor. And to me, that is also what an unbelievable chiddush. Elokai nitzoyor is not an integral part of the shemayim nesla. It's tachnunim, which are not a chiyuv at all. And that is where you ask for a person of bakoshes. Once again, the Gemara and the Shulchan Aruch says, you add your personal bakoshes and brochas or in soyos. If you have a choyle, you ask in the fu'enu. If you have, if you're short on pranosa, you ask in borach oleinu. If you're not successful in your mental endeavors, you ask in atu choyne. That's the Gemara and that's, in my understanding, there is no greater kabolas oil malchis shumayim than Bakoshes Tzrochim. And that is what Rabbeinu Yoyne says in Brochus Dav Dalet. So I know what I say goes against the Gro and Rabbi Chaim Valashna, but I have Rabbeinu Yoyne and the Mabit on my side, so I'm not intimidated. So Rabbeinu Yoyne says in Brochus Dav Dalet, It's the top of the hour. 10 o'clock. Rabbeinu Yoyne explains why. It's Friday, the 10th of Friday. Tefillah is avdus. Just like an event, please, with his master, please give me food, give me, give me clothing, give me a blanket. An event has nothing of his own. So, Kodesh Baruch Hu, Oitzi Yorum HaMitzrayim, Al Menas Sheni Eloi La'avodim. And that is why, Asoi Mech Ge'ule Letfula, Muftach Lo Shei Ben Oilam Abo. Because the essence of Yitzhi Yismuzayim is avdus. And the essence of avdus is tefillah, bakoshes tzrochim. 
And Kabbalah's Abdus is Kabbalah's own Malchus Shemayim.